Roseanne. Or Suzanne. Suzanne Summers. What about Either Roxanne way. Barr? I'd Could have Roxanne. <laughs> Well, Will Wheaton's 51 years old. He's 51? Uh, shit, yeah. Well, if you don't have testosterone, you age, you know. He looks like, a bit medical to nice me. Nice like a girl. He hey, looks, maybe he was, he, born looks, at, he was born at uh, 36 years old. Was he was one that was a medical born? experiment. He, he was definitely he was born, born at 36, you know? He was yeah. definitely born with some diff some alterations to him. He was uh, 36 he when he came out, yeah. Yeah, he's always <laughs> been a bit cute. <laughs> he's always a bit altered in an altered yeah, state. He looks a bit scientific now, as you can see. Uh, if, if you know what I mean. But the funniest thing, the, f the funny thing about that is that he hates the role. And that I always think that's so super funny. Like Bruce Willis, <laughs> Bruce Willis hates the Die Hard role. Really? Yeah, he's like a dickhead about it. Yeah, like motherfucker. Yeah, if you go to him with a Die Hard quote, he's just, he hates that. It's like, it's like, uh. His teeth fall out and he can't remember. <laughs> and Harrison Ford's the, fu Harrison Ford is the funniest one out of all of them because Harrison Ford hates all his famous roles, but he also gets pissed off if people don't know. Like some, uh. If if people don't like acknowledge that he was he's Indiana Jones yeah or Davy Crockett or whatever Star <laughs> who's it Davy who was he in Star Wars yeah he's yeah, in Star Han Solo, Solo. Han Solo. Star, stars or Star Trek or you don't know who Han Solo is you don't know who Han Solo is don't know is that but, the fat uh, one yeah, the the um Harrison Ford is he's uh, I mean he's, he reminds smirking me smirking rogue he reminds me of my dad so much because he's that that, that immediate like um light switch flip to, to sort of like feminine confrontational anger he uh, he was a master at that. yeah master madam. master he was a master at the madam game, madam I'll get back in your car that. madam that type of shit but here's uh, man harrison ford even looks like my dad too kind of <laughs> but the best the very best harrison ford thing i don't know did i already talk about dutch on this show gray goose dutch oh yeah so here's here's how you here's how you can understand all of harrison ford's um psyche like everything about him he gets a chance to do like a blank slate like my passion project type movie okay he's no longer the he's no longer a tool being used by george lucas for whatever thing he gets to do his own thing he does a movie i i bet he wrote it i bet he came up with like the bare bones plot line the same way that we would if we were to write a movie with a screenwriter we would have been like oh it's got to be about a biker gang in the 80s like it's like that type of thing like mm -hmm. he he came up with the the main points he did this movie called Random Random Hearts. Mm -hmm. Sounds dope. <laughs> oh, dude, I a... love the title. <laughs> Rand oh, and here's man. the plot. It's about don't look at the plot thing. Chris, new tab, new tab. Go ahead. Okay. Here's the plot. He's a um, he's a guy whose uh, wife was cheating on him, but then dies in a plane wreck or something, and then he goes and has sex with the wife of the guy that his wife was cheating with. Something like this, I think. Cool. And in the movie, his name, this is the most important part, right? If you were if we were doing a movie, your name would be Roach. Yeah, it'd be uh, Roach Sanchez. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Qu quality Roach. Something cool, <laughs> right? You got you gotta you gotta come up with his cool Roach name. Clip. His yeah. cool name for his real persona that he came up with is Dutch. And throughout the movie, the mo it's the most insane. Like there's no because there's no special effects, there's no car chases, and there's no there's nothing visually prominent. So the most visually prominent thing is the single silver ball earring no. that Harrison Ford wears, which is his earring that he wears in public that they make him take off in the movies. He doesn't get to wear it in any movie because obviously it's a huge, huge problem. If you if you were if we were if we were you know, billionaire Jews in charge of making a movie and we're hiring Harrison Ford, would you let him wear a silver ball earring? No. As whatever? Ne never. He's where he wears a fucking That's a silver ball. Thing. It's the most fucked up clown. It's 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 even find okay, find a picture with the silver ball earring, like a like a paparazzi type photo. Ah. Uh. That is even that's far stranger than anything Johnny Depp has ever worn. I was gonna say that, that that's like Tom Hanks Instagram level strange. That is that is, is that is that's Doesn't stranger. Doesn't wear this ear. No, I don't. I don't think it does. I think he just wears it. I think he just wears it to, to sort of butch up and make himself more masculine. Oh, it's just left hand path. That's what he's signaling. It's no. It's just to make himself look more masculine. That is weirder <laughs> than anything Mickey Mickey Rourke or Johnny Depp yeah. has ever worn. Ever. I would like to hear Mickey Rourke talk shit about Harrison Ford and be like, yeah, I met the guy a few times. This guy's fucking weird. <laughs> guy ordered a tomato juice at fucking 11.30 at night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were all doing the same coke, man. What the fuck makes you want to have a tomato juice? Yeah. The airing. It's got to be the airing. He's like, yeah. Then he started twisting his ear around. We had a couple of broads. We're going to bring him back to his this place. This guy is, he, he 
lands like emergency lands planes. He's done that a handful of times, like crash planes. He gets drunk. He drunk. He crashes plane in the middle of the golf course we played at. What? Remember that golf course yeah. in Venice? He crashed his. <laughs> supposedly, he used to take like uh, bottles of whiskey, get drunk. That's uh, that right there. See right there. We used to play golf there. Well, that's a nice landing. Yeah. I wonder who he's got to pay off to make them say it was caused by a loose engine part and not his uh, alcoholism. I let George figure that out. Where's my earring? My earring back fell Can off. You do? Uh, oh no! I lost my earring. Crashes back. the plane. Can you go to YouTube and type in "Random Hearts Trailer"? Oh. Ooh. Um, like shallow melodrama. Yeah. Um, on behalf of like billionaire actors. Mm -hmm. Like, there's about tw twenty five of these people in history. Mm -hmm. Like, Marlon Brando was just a big homo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, oh, what I mean? absolutely. Like he was well, a bit famous for a little bit of his tourism. Like Johnny Depp. Being Johnny Depp mm -hmm. and being like like that kind of shit, it's. I'm trying to think of like like the earring, Tom Hanks, just like the the backstars in these fucking Tom big Hanks name and actors. Harrison Ford are very they have very serious personas. Like Johnny yeah. Depp is like he's his bracelets clinking on his guitar while he's doing a, a freaking perfume ad. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. He's talking about his wife shitting or shitting the bed or something. <laughs> his eyes, are, you know, it's like crazy. Yeah, but but Harrison Ford is different. He's like a he's a, like a like a freak show. He's on a different level. Yeah. He's like a John driving Hatton. school instructor that got a billion dollars for acting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, a carpenter. You. no, he was a carpenter. <laughs> uh, he's a humble beginnings as a carpenter. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. He was born at thir 13 yeah. years old and out of a tube. Yeah. He Let's watch this trailer beginnings. here for Random Hearts, guys. Out of His etiquette. humble beginnings in child prostitution. <laughs> for the jury, please. William Vandenbrock. I'm a sergeant in the Internal Affairs Division of the District of Columbia Police Department. <laughs> I'm an actor in Hollywood, California. <laughs> I think. I can if you are. Hey, honey, it's me, Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> me, I don't need. I'm at the airport. It's the first time I sent a catalog to Miami without Did you see it turn into Shadow Man <laughs> for a second? Will change. Is that a name? Oh. <laughs> Will change. What the fuck? Will I was gonna freak. Oh, William yeah. changes in this. To Where's my wife? Give me back my son! You have a wife, you have an earring. Are you saying she lied to me? We got a guy who thinks his wife was on 437 traveling with another man. 3 A and B, Mr. and Mrs. Colin Chandler. Are you ready for this? Mrs. Chandler is a congresswoman. Kay Spencer Chandler. That's my wife you're kissing! The perfect world. They would have never met. My name is Bill Vandenbrock. What is this about? My wife was on that plane, but your husband was on. Are you investigating something? They were sitting together. 3A and B. I have nothing else to do. Husband, my wife. Do you know that? It was a betrayal was we never imagined. This was on her desk at work. Did you see one like this? No. Can you take out your ear? It it's like you're a gay guy. guy. <laughs> but if they find yeah, out yeah, about yeah, your wife, cool. it's gossip. If they find out about my husband, it's in the newspapers. And it was a journey. There's got to be something, some sign of something. You'll never find what you're looking for. What's wrong, Dutch? Hold on, I'm thinking. They couldn't take <gasps> Why? Why? Yeah. Yeah. Because they did. Oh, rough sex? From Academy Award winner Sidney Pollack what? comes the story about what? the things we can't control. Dog Day Doesn't Afternoon 2, nice Gay Harrison Ford. Whatever you don't want to see in the paper, you surely going to find it. Mr. Chandler, can you tell me that? And the forces <laughs> you can't resist. You can close. You can close this, Chris. The video, the, look, wait, the wait, resolution wait. is so low you can't see his earring, so it loses the effect. Can you go back one second, just get that last line he just said? <laughs> right. Whatever you don't want to see in the paper, you should right here. find it. Mr. Chandler, you tell us what we're And the forces we can't resist. I was wondering if you'd come. There's so many reasons I, I was wondering doing if you'd this. come. <laughs> I wanted to know if you can come. That's awesome. <laughs> we're hold on. I'm fucking lip dick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to crush your fucking larynx as much as you want, but uh, I, I, I have an earring in. What a legend Han Solo has become. Here, hold this 8x10 photo of my middle school music teacher over your face. <laughs> I need to get a heart. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe we should do Stay Flight quiet. Simulator. What? I wish you'd do Flight Simulator instruction or I do driving God. lessons. Yeah, you should, man. Get Harrison Ford Flight on the line. Flight sim tutorials. He's drunk. I'm like, yo, let me hear that earring going in. <laughs> God damn, man. Drive over this bar. It's called the Eagle. It's where I, I mean, it's a, it's a sports pub. <laughs> he was good as the president in the Tom Clancy movie. Yeah, the Jack Ryan stuff. Yeah. He was good. Uh, he, Jack Ryan, whatever. He, oh, was. yeah, yeah, the Tom Clancy. Yeah, 
Yeah, he wrote it. He was good. He was good in those. Yeah, he was good. And and I, with Tommy Lee Jones and The Fugitive. Yeah. Uh, but his best stuff was Pete Weir back in the '80s, like Mosquito Coast and Witness. That was his by far his best shit. Everything mm. else is kind of gay compared to that, honestly. Mm. But Pete Weir, check those out. Mm. <laughs>